Hey guys, welcome back to how to build a modular layout from start to finish. Today we're talking about transferring track plans and track plans in general. There's a lot of mystery surrounding track plans. We're going to simplify it, show you a simple way to use a free program in order to create a track plan and how to get that on the layout starting right now. So let's take a look. Today we're talking about the development of a track plan and the transfer of that track plan onto your layout. So what I've used is this program called SCARM. You can see the info right there. It's a SCARM info. It's www.scarm.info. This is a website and a program that you can use to develop a track plan. Now when you're developing your track plan, you usually run off your actual, no kidding, bench work dimensions. So you need to be sure that you're careful when you're actually putting the track plan down because the track plan has edges as you can see here there's an edge but it's not necessarily the edge of the foam but you need to have the track plan be the edge of the layout so sometimes you are have to bump up your paper to a straight edge like so as you can see there's a gap there I've just kind of thrown this paper back on because I've already been working through some issues before I wanted to record this and show you how to do it so SCARM works in a pretty easy way as long as you know your ABC's you start with A1 and you work your way down so A1 through whatever number you need to the right and then down is alphabetical so you start here at A you might end at Z if you've got a really large layout it'll start doing the double A thing but you do A, B, C and you just simply place the paper making sure that you're on the actual edge of the layout not your foam because your foam's not perfect and then that you're actually using this correctly you're bumping these up correctly there's no, no margin, so the paper goes end to end. You don't overlay it. And then you to totally just work your way down. And if you put it in the SCARM, you'll even be able to see the module um, actual lines where the module ends and the next module begins because this is a modular layout. And anyway, you just work your way all the way down. And that's what this is turning into lots of tape involved or pins push pins whatever way you want to do it but you work your way down now once that's actually down I, I've had some issues with curves before so you may remember the old trammel points the trammel points are a tool you can buy from Micromark you're supposed to put a pencil on that one but I just use the actual point to draw the line you start you get yourself a piece of uh, wood like this here you start one inch in, you make it zero, then you go one all the way down to your largest radius. And then what you got yourself is a giant tool here in order to make the radius curve. You just have to find your center point, make sure it's correct, and then you're going to run that all the way around. And that's what you see with those Sharpie lines is me verifying that these curves are correct because I'm going to take this off and we're going to move into a track plan transfer where I'm actually making marks on the foam but I want to make sure that the curves are correct because I've had curve problems before on the last layout so how are you going to sit here and make the track plan transferred to the foam I'm going to show you that next so in order to do a effective transfer you're going to need a tool like this and I'll put a link or the name of this tool in the video so you can find it easy in a Google search because I don't recall the name of it right off the top of my head but what you're gonna do is you're going to go ahead and run this down and make the marks on your track plan and then it'll transfer to your foam as you see there now here's a pitfall and one thing that SCARM I think could do a lot better everything runs off of track center line we take our cork road bed and we split that down the car the track center line which I'll show you later and they do not provide a track center line here so you're really gonna have to be careful to make sure it's not crooked as you can see this is crooked I went too fast 
Luckily, this was just kind of a test area. I've got a straight edge for straightaways anyway. But once you're really into this, you've got to take your time and make sure you're maintaining center line. Now, another way to do this is obviously measure half the distance between each uh, rail here because those darker lines indicate rail. You measure half the distance, you can draw yourself some reference points along the way if you want to take the time to do that. So a lot of people are asking me, you know, why is this taking so long for this layout? You built your entire layout from start to finish last time in four months, you know, and I've already been here eight months and we're just at this point. Well, several things come into fact. I have two kids now, I had zero before. My job is a lot more labor intensive. I've, I've got a lot, of more, a lot more people to supervise, a lot more work to do. So I come home exhausted, but I am making progress on this layout. And this is, uh, this is where we're at right now. So, and then the other thing is to take your time. You wanna take your time, like that foam issue I did before with my last layout, I wasn't paying attention. I was measuring from the edge of the foam. Next thing you know, I've got shifting center lines for the track all the way down. So things like that are pitfalls you need to avoid in order to go ahead and have a successful track plan transfer. So that wraps up how to build a modular layout, the track plan transfer. If you have any questions about SCARM, uh, let me know. I'm researching it myself right now as I didn't develop this track plan. Uh, Bob Olson did for me. Uh, but what I'm doing is uh, I'm, I'm going to be looking at SCARM later and making a how-to SCARM video down the road possibly and adding it to the how to build a modular layout series. The track plan is transferred. Can you tell? How about now? No? How about now? See those faint little lines? Those are from that spur tool I showed you before. This tool down here. And I've removed a lot of the track plan. As you can see, I ran down the spur, the spur tool down the center line. And that's the effect you get, a really faint line. Now, this pink foam, or any color foam really, has all kinds of lines already in it. There's a line there. There's all these faint lines that have nothing to do with what I've been working on. So you definitely don't want to go off these spur lines. <clears throat> Here's another reason you don't want to go off the spur lines. That spur shifts within its bracket and it causes some inconsistencies. You see the curve there, the way this runs up and then whoop. So it's not perfect by far. So then you, you want to go ahead and take your straight edge, get the calculation from the edge, work your way in, make some reference points and then draw a line with a Sharpie or whatnot. And then once you draw that first line, and you know your track is, you know, two or three inches from center line to center line apart. Bam, bam, bam. You can finish your rows of yard or main line or whatever the case may be. So that's just the wrap up of finishing your track plan. Well, I hope that explains how to create a track plan with SCARM. There's other software out there you could use as well. And then how to transfer that track plan to the layout. So demystifying a little bit the process to actually get a larger track plan that's a little more complex onto the foam. So with that said, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time right here on my channel. Take care.